No spin, just the facts. Chris Lynch on News Talk ZB. For the very latest on this mass shooting, I'm going to take you now to KCAL host uh, Jimbo Smith, who was at a fair at the time when the shooting happened and he was told by police to stay in lockdown. When did all this happen and how did you become to know that there was a mass shooting taking place? We started to hear a lot of sirens and uh, helicopters coming and before we were know it, the SAP management told us to come inside as soon as we can. Well, at least 37 people have been killed and 181 wounded in two suicide bomb attacks in a residential area of Beirut. On the scene is News Talks EB host Rachel Smalley. Rachel, tell me exactly what have you seen? There's police, there's soldiers, there are government investigators, uh, but you can see all windows blown out, you can see cars, their windscreens are smashed, there's glass everywhere. As we first reported on News Talks EB, UK lawmakers have voted in favour of carrying out airstrikes in Syria. International Affairs Relations expert Dr Robert Patton is with us. Good morning Chris. I suppose no surprises here, but a very significant vote nonetheless, Doctor. The fact of the matter is, this problem won't be solved by military force alone. A former Al-Qaeda member and CIA operative is Morton Storm. He joins me. Morton, your reaction to the attacks on Paris? It's religiously motivated and they obviously believe that it is religious duty for them to do what they are doing. The questions, the answers. Chris Lynch on News Talk ZB.